DJ Waldo here, director of Community Blue Sky Factory, standing next to... Nikki Scavoni, Blue Sky Factory as well. Nikki, what do you do at Blue Sky Factory? What don't we do at Blue Sky Factory? And what do you do at Blue Sky Factory? I, I do sales. But just sales, or do you also do other things? Right, do shows. I don't know, this is not, this is not, hold on, we need, I need some inspiration, hold on. This is not a good interview. I was just getting warmed up. All right. No, cut, 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 cut. All right. Cool, everyone. My name is DJ Waldo. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're rolling. It's been rolling. Here in Miami. This is how we roll. Hey, everyone. We're in Miami at Marketing Sherpa 2010, and I'm here with DJ Waldo from Blue Sky Factory. What's going on, DJ? Oh, hi, Nikki. How are you? I'm doing well, man. So what do you do at Blue Sky Factory? The director of community. So that means I do uh, everything from writing on the blog to um, answering questions on Twitter and Facebook and um, triaging all sorts of uh, uh, inquiries and questions that come in about Blue Sky Factory, evangelizing the brand and talking about email as much as I possibly can, like right now. Yeah. Awesome. Well, what do you think Sherpa's been like? How do you think it's been going so far? It's good. I think my favorite so far was uh, Joseph Jaffe, um, J- uh, Jaffe Juice on Twitter. Yeah, let's talk about his book, um, Flip, bam. Flip the Funnel. <laughs> so he talks about, um, his main premise talks about how to use existing customers to gain new ones. So it's about um, really instead of uh, trying to acquire new business all the time. Think about the customers that you have that are your evangelists and influencers and figure out ways to get them more tied in. So it actually, to me personally, it relates a lot to what I do as a director of community. So, Fantastic. Did that answer your question? It did. I, I like it. Yeah. Anything you want to know about me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. So, uh, Nikki, you also, uh, I think, uh, besides just in sales, you also do a lot with the blog. Uh, tell us about what you do with the blog and why you love blogging so much. Yeah, I think I, I, I love to write. I think that's like one of the first things that you have to be passionate about if you're going to blog. You have to be passionate about what you're going to write or some sort of um, topic within your industry, especially like marketing Sherpa, like Jaffe Juice, you know, being excited about some of the speakers that are here today. But um, I love to write. I'm, I'm, I do sales at Blue Sky Factory, but I think we're just a really big team that kind of does a lot of different things and has a lot of different roles within the company. So I, I love it. It's, it's, a, it's a great company to be a part of. Yeah, and I think it's unique too because not a lot of people uh, in sales that I know of, at least on the email side, are, are really blogging because you're really focused on sales. But how does it, how do you think it helps you? Um, being a, also being an active contributor on the blog in you know coming to conferences like this and, and being on the sales team. Well, it, it kind of it makes you a better player in a way. If you want to talk about it like in sports, it makes you a better player. It educates yourself. If you actually know what you're talking about and you can write about it, then you can teach other people about it. So if I can if I know what I'm saying and I'm writing about it, then I can sell it. Um, and I wouldn't sell anything that I wouldn't be passionate about. So I love email and writing about it isn't a stretch. So having to sell it to my clients isn't a stretch either. We always say, uh, we always ask, you don't know what you don't know. So kind of bring it back to your customers and your um, your crowd. What is it that you guys can share with them that potentially the new marketer or the marketer who's learning or going to that next level, what is it that they don't know or what is it the information that you guys can share that potentially um, you guys can share some of your wisdom and insight? Uh, I think that something that we've kind of started to coin, and I know it's, we weren't the first ones to say it, but I feel like email is the digital glue of the web. Um, I feel like you can't really communicate right now in this marketplace, in this landscape, without being really aware of where you are within email or within social. So we really try to pull together those two mediums, pulling together social and and email to build that message out. True. Yeah, I think, um, you know, Nikki touched on it with the share with your network stuff. So it's a, it's a feature that we have at Blue Sky Factory. Certainly other ESPs have it as well. But um, I think we really understand the social space. So we're able to help customers think about not just email, but how it ties into, uh, you know, LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook and helping build out strategies that uh, allow people to help share content that that is, um, sounds redundant, but share content that is shareable. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, you guys are both very... Um, both very visible in the Twitter scene and in the social networks. Um, probably, t- probably DJ more than I, but thank you. <laughs> but yeah, look at there's there's tweets and there's retweets and um, it's a community. So tell us what it is that you like about social and what it is you don't like about social. For for me personally, I think you you can give your brand another personality that people might not know about you. 
It's a it's a way for you to make a relationship, start a partnership with someone that you really had no idea they could be in another country, another state. You might have never heard of them except through social, through someone else that knew someone else. Kind of like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. You know, I think social gives you maybe two degrees. There's sure. someone that knows someone within that avenue. Yep. Yeah, and I also I think what I like about it the most is it. Um, Jay Bear said, this isn't Jay Bear's quote, but he says it in a couple of blog posts he's written recently about people buy from people, not from brands. So, um, you know, when we, when we talk about Blue Sky Factory, we're talking about email, it's not all that sexy, it's not all that exciting, but if you know about me and about a little bit about my personal life, um, you're more comfortable buying from me and you have more trust for me. So I think, I think the thing I like the most about uh, social media is, is kind of as Nikki said too, is you, you can meet all these people online and then you come to these events and it's like you already know them. I mean, you know, I feel like we've already, we've met yeah. before yeah. several times, but we've we haven't. chatted online really. and tweeted so, online, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I think your other question was what I don't like. I think um, there's, it's, it's, there's so many tools out there and it's really, the hardest part is keeping up with everything and figuring out when to turn it off, when to not. I mean, uh, you know, my wife helps me with this a lot where, um, you know, we're at dinner, I'm at home, I'm not on my phone. I'm trying not to be Are on my phone. Are you Twittering at dinner? No, not anymore. Not no? anymore. Good. So, but I, but I think that's the hardest part is being able to shut it off. It's not a um, just because we do a lot with social media. It is not 24/7. Um, I don't care if somebody tells you it's 24/7. It's not because we're also humans and we have to live our lives. Sure. I think another great thing about it is that it's always changing. I think it's rare that you're in an industry where you're constantly le learning different things from different companies and people that you meet all the time. So it makes it easy to be excited about it. You know any situation that you go into or any event that you go into, you're going to learn something about it. You're going to pick up something, take back with yourself, and take it back to your company, and you know, and hopefully put it towards your philosophy and your message that you're putting out. Totally. Sure. Um, anything you guys want to share with the folks at the email guide and our viewers? It's one of my favorite blogs. I love it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I was going to share that email I don't think is dead yet. Yeah. I think it's still got a little bit more. Uh, it's got a, a lot more. more. It. It's far from dead, and uh, I wish that lady from the Wall Street Journal was here so we could hit her with a microphone. Or maybe but we should just email it again. Yeah. Let's just email the article. Far again. from I, dead. I, I, I think. You know, actually, the one thing I do want to say though about the, the last thing I want to say about social media, and this is where I think people make the biggest mistake, is if your product sucks, if you suck at customer service, yeah. if you know all that don't get into social media don't do anything with social media until you fix that first sure. because what, it's going to come out it'll well it'll actually hurt you more because mm -hmm. if you suck and you're not you're out there and you're just you know people are going to be uh, sure. you know spending more time addressing that well, we also say that if you're not out there and you're not tweeting you should at least be listening to the conversation because okay. potentially there's a lot of people who are talking about you that you might not know and it's a good opportunity to begin to monitor your brand yeah use the google suck index Type in, type in your company or your brand and type sucks next to it and see how many uh, hits there are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if you're a client that's looking for a company, like an email service provider or a, a social monitoring tool, don't be deterred, like DJ said, by someone who, or a company that might not be focused on service. They're out there, they exist. Yeah. I mean, that's the biggest reason that I love what we do. I mean, we're relationship marketing. I think that is a really big differentiator between using a tool and using the services with the tool, you know? Sure. Yeah. Great. Um, I'm Jeff. This is Nikki. This is DJ. We're here in Miami, live at Marketing Sherpa, and this is Blue Sky Factory. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Yeah.